Hello and thanks for watching this how-to guide on how to increase your FPS settings in Fallout 76. Now Fallout 76 came out with some issues if you ask me. I recently started playing this game and I had some trouble with my FPS settings. So this is a how-to guide in nine simple steps on how to improve your FPS in Fallout 76. I'm not a native speaker so bear me with me. Um, but I will try, try to explain things as best as I can. So first of all, you'll go to the control panel and select your current NVIDIA driver if you have an NVIDIA driver currently installed on your computer. If you have, a if you have an NVIDIA driver, you can continue this guide. Now the first thing is to uninstall your NVIDIA driver. You can do that this by clicking the link I sh I'm showing you right now. So go to your settings and click uninstall. <coughs> Excuse me, and after that, reboot your computer. Wait for your computer to reboot. You might run into some troubles with your monitor or display, but don't worry, we will install a brand new version of your graphics card driver right after this. So after we have rebooted our system, we go to the NVIDIA page to download our, our new driver. You can do this by the GeForce, by using the GeForce experience, but I don't recommend that because that did not work for me. So go to the NVIDIA webpage and download your new driver, like I'm showing. What you want to do is select the driver you are using and download it from the website. Just make sure you download the correct driver. I got a 1070, so I'll be downloading a 1070. I won't be doing this right now because I've just done it, but just follow these steps I'm showing you. After you've downloaded it, you need to install the driver. Now don't use the express installation because this will fail. Use a custom installation and select the option clean install. Don't just next next finish, use the option custom installation and clean install and you should be good to go. After we have installed the new driver we need the nvidia control panel to set up our settings you can just go to the play store and download the nvidia control panel just search for it on the top right of the corner and install the nvidia control panel like you're seeing right here i have already installed it but um, you should install it as well if you have problems installing this app like many reviews uh, reviews show um, you should check your Windows settings, the current Windows setting, Windows version you're using, update, your, update the Windows version you're using, and also uh, make sure that you have deinstalled the GPU graphics card driver before attempting to install the NVIDIA control panel. If everything works correctly, you should be able to open the NVIDIA control panel and you should go to manage 3D settings. First of all, we're going to change the global setting so that you always use your graphics card drive, graphics card. In my case, the 1070p, 1070. After you've done this, hit apply, so to activate all the settings. I won't be changing this because I'm afraid of losing the settings I currently have. I have already done this as well. Um, so just, just make sure you hit apply. Now, after we have changed the global settings, go into specific settings and select Fallout 76. If you don't see Fallout 76 within this list, you need to manually add it. Just click add and browse to the location of Fallout 76 and click OK. I don't have to do this because I've just done this. But if you don't see it showing up, use this feature. Now, just with the global settings, we want to make sure that we use our graphics card and not the processor. This is the issue. It often uses the processor instead of the NVIDIA, of NVIDIA uh, graphics card that you have. After you've hit apply on that as well, you can open up the game. Now I've got a slow-mo version of the intro and you can see that I've got a really high FPS, over 600. That should be an indication of things working correctly. If you don't have a high FPS setting right there, then things are not working. So if you're seeing 30 or 40 frames per second, 
that should be indicating that things are not working correctly. It should be over 100. Right now you see 50, that is worrisome. But I'm recording this video um, and I haven't clicked within the frame yet. So that was that is why it's showing a low FPS right now for me. But it should be over 100. I hope this video helped you. And um, yeah, if you, if you like the video, leave a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, um, if I helped you, um, I'm happy to. Bye bye.